Last year, about half of all the new electric generating capacity installed in our country was powered by the wind and sun. In the first four months of this year, that figure rose to 81%. And in April, every bit of our new capacity came from wind turbines and solar panels. Prices for solar panels have fallen by half in just the past five years. Prices for wind turbines are down even more. As a nation, we're reducing our reliance on dirty fuels like coal. We're cutting the dangerous carbon pollution that's driving climate change. And we're creating good paying American jobs, a quarter of a million of them, to get more power from the wind and sun. Right now, those two sources provide 5% of our electricity. We can raise that number to 34% in just 15 years, the Department of Energy tells us. To get there, we'll need to do three things. First, extend federal incentives like the production tax credit. Next, invest in research and development to keep American wind and solar companies ahead of the global pack. Finally, make clean energy a priority for all of our states. Let's keep the good news coming on wind and solar power, and let's keep the promise of clean, renewable energy.